after 16 NBA seasons, playing for six different teams, one of my all-time favorites and one of the best point guards that I've seen in my lifetime, Derrick Rose, announced his retirement. The news saddened me. I knew this day would come, but it saddened, saddens me because of what could have been had it not been for the injuries. It was a joy. It was a pleasure. It was an honor to watch Derrick Rose being this incredible point guard before the injuries started to take a toll on him and his career. Those early days with the Chicago Bulls from his rookie season in that fall 2008, all the way to 2012, it was something amazing to watch. When I think about Derrick Rose, I think about his playoff debut against the Boston Celtics in the first round, 2009, where he scored 36 points. When I think about Derrick Rose, I think about that alley-oop against the Atlanta Hawks. When I think about Derrick Rose, I think about that dunk on Goran Dragic. Um, this was when Dragic was with the Phoenix Suns before coming to Miami. When I think about Derrick Rose, I think about game one of the 2011 NBA playoffs, first round against the Indiana Pacers. <clears throat> when I think about Derrick Rose, I think about that entire 2010-2011 NBA MVP season. And last but not least, there's so many great memories, whether it's before or after his injury problems. But last but not least, when I think about Derrick Rose, I think about that game-winning three-pointer against the Cleveland Cavs in the 2015 NBA Playoffs Game 3 semifinals. Derrick Rose should have been a Hall of Fame player. He should have gone to many more All-Star games. He is the type of player that you wish he could have won a championship in his career. But the knee injuries and many other injuries he's had throughout his career robbed him from all of that. When I talk about Derrick Rose, um, it's tough. Because again, this is, like I said, I've seen so many great point guards that I've watched on my TV screen. And Derrick Rose is on top of that list. No matter what, he's on the top of that list of one of my all-time favorite point guards. I hate injuries. I don't like it, I hate it. And my hatred for injuries began with him. But at the same time, it's part of the game. It's part of sports. I 
I admire and respect that Derrick Rose never stopped working hard to get back on the court. Because let's be honest, the amount of injuries that he had throughout his career in the NBA, not too many players would have the mental toughness, the mental grind to want to continue to keep going. And even though he never, <clears throat> excuse me, came back to became the player that he once was with the Chicago Bulls, but I respect what he did in his time with the Knicks. I respect even the 50, the 50 point performance when he was with the Timberwolves. At some point you saw Derrick Rose um, improve his three point jump shooting because because of the injuries they had, he had lost a lot of his athleticism. So therefore he had to change his game and started to work in other areas for him to stay in the league and be effective. So that's something that I will always respect and admire Derrick Rose is the level of his commitment and never wanting to give up. Now that he hanged it up, I'm looking forward to see what will be next for him. What would his life after basketball will be? And I hope that whatever it is, he excels it. He does, I hope that he does 10 times, 20 times, 100 times better than anything he, he has done on the core in the NBA. That's all I have for you guys for this content on Derrick Rowe's retirement. And um, like I said, I just wish his career could have been much better had it not been for those damn injuries. You guys already know what to do. Please um, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to go to my online store, mikesproduct.shop. And hope you guys continue to do what you do. Always do what you love. Um, have a positive mindset. And continue to work your butt off. Have a great weekend, everyone. And may God bless each and every one of you. I'll see you guys next week right here on Miguel Mike Medina's Jack of All Trades channel.